What's good everyone, Zuku here and I'm back again with another video and in today's video I'm going to be going over my hybrid support PvE build. Now this is for the Diluvian mechanism but you can use it for layer 2 in hell mode or any general PvE in the game. So let's get started. Before we get started, consider liking this video and subscribing because I do post a lot of PvE content. Let's get it. So uh, a very big topic that comes up is that what race do I pick? Now, you can technically run it on any race, but because races have innate stats, you may need that extra two points. Who knows? And the only way to figure that out is that if you look at my summaries. Now, every build I make, every builder link I create, I will always have a summary for you to follow. So the, the build stats, talents, stat order, stuff like that will always be there. In this build, I did go Vesperian because you want to be tanky. You get a 3% damage reduction if you are Vesperian. And because I like to go brick wall with every single build, it already has two points into fortitude and two points into willpower. That's what we need. Ardor, you will be using Ardor for your murmur. Bell, I suggest going sacred field, but if you can get a corrupted running back, it works just as great. Ults, so I'm just gonna get this out the, out the way. You can use Blindseer or Dawnwalker. Now, if you wanna do extra damage, you go Dawnwalker. If you wanna be a little extra support, you go Blindseer because you have Mind Soothe. Mind Soothe not only does it heal a bar, it's very easy to cast and it's fast. It's an easy bar. It can make anybody survive any situation, trust me. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna click Blindseer. And origin, choose whatever origin you want. You want to be a void walker? Go ahead. Me, I, I pick deep bound. So the armors you're gonna have to choose from, right? One, either the ignition deep delver, or two, the new schematic that drops on wave 50. Right now it is bugged, so go ahead and pick your ignition deep delver because it does have the most resistance, as in physical and elemental. And here we go. So I always start with 50 for it and then i'm going to now this is the revised version of my pve build so i will be going 50 fortitude because you will be needing like your two to finish exoskeleton stuff like that if you want your reinforce you can grab it and then i will be going 70 flame right you will be needing 70 flame because not only does it give you extra talents for flame that you're going to need because you're going to need to get that up flame like elements intensity up and you're gonna be needing you will be needing azure flames for this build now once you have 50 fortitude 70 flame make sure you go 100 willpower because it gives you a talent called not a scratch and you can also grab your phoenix flames if you need it right so once you got that go 100 fortitude if you look you do hit level 17 with a little over three extra points right you put your one point into heavy weapon and then you're gonna keep it like that so now that we are done with our pre shrine stats i'm going to show you guys the talents we're going to be needing grab your reinforced armor grab your brick wall defiance elemental rebound fishmen you won't be needing the final act because you will be going eruption grab your exoskeleton to the finish your narrow plasticity piercing well pressure claws warriors respite if you can fit it grab your loot skipper grab and previous slumber because this build this talent makes this build invincible i'll show you guys later grab your blood iron spirit grab your mirage clones you will be needing undying flames and grab your scuba drowning that's 15 rare cards in the in the first or 17 powers that's that's 15 rare cards so it's not even that hard grab your flame within and your last laugh grab your giant slayer grab your underdog if you are using flame leap or rising flame you can grab your phoenix flame you, if you are using rising flame or flame leap you can get phoenix impact but i was a little i had a little too much talent so i did not grab those you can grab your hell's partisan but because we're not using fire forge you do not need it you will be needing your azure flames we're not using fire pumps do not grab fire wildfire you can grab your yielding inferno just because it gives you four extra elemental intensity grab all eruption cards you will be missing one which is fine basically it just makes your eruption bigger when you posh or break something honestly i don't i don't see any difference so to each their own if you wanted to go to 75 but then it won't be my build it'll be yours grab combat kid this talent here saved me so many times from wiping you know why because it kind of acts like immortal helm but as a talent and because you have in previous slumber you have phoenix flames and you have combat kid you literally come back with 50 or I'm, I think Phoenix Flame gives you 40%, but 
But there's another talent that allows you to get 10% extra HP. That's 50% HP back when being knocked, okay? That that's crazy. That's really good. When you, when your team clutches up and they're hitting you, hitting the mobs, keeping them off you, that will save you. Grab your last resort, make sure to grab your uproar, old habits die hard just for the five extra HP. And then again, breathing e exercise for the extra HP. Grab full reset once you have your bell. You will have to roll for it. Grab armor conserver. If you need it, if you need it, grab replenishing knockout. Grab steel scales. You will be needing padded armor for that. Grab your unfazed. Grab your flaming flourish and explosive. And grab your soundness of mind. And make sure to grab your heretic sutra as well. So those, so that's your pre-shrine stats. Once you shrine of order, put 30 points into strength for lose your mind and to equip a heavy weapon for example enforcer hammer and then go 80 heavy weapon once you're done with that you as you can see we have seven points left i suggest going five intel or five agility because you can use the card called time to go now it makes you run faster the more mobs you kill which is pretty cool and is pretty good if you are trying to catch up to either your teammates or an extra mob for example the bounders they love to run or you can put it into to intel but honestly i don't know what procs know if i clarity and i suggest not going to because they did rework it as you can see it leaves us with two extra points so that means if you have a race that has like two points in it to intel and like two points to agility you'll be able to make this build or if you have a build that has like two points into like willpower two points into intel which is like your ganymede you can make this build but if you have a, a race that has like two points into intel and like two points into charisma you won't be able to make the build because then you'd be losing out on four points and as you can see we used up all our points already so now that we're at our post shrine here are some of the talents you're going to be needing carnivore is a must need lose your mind is a must need if you can grab your bulldozer grab your time to go taking a life grants a speed boost for 10 seconds and it has no cooldown grab your heavy hitter and if you're a flame build grab your charge return grab your berserker and here is the talent recover 15 percent of your max hp after getting up from being knocked only procs when below 20 percent hp if you can grab it grab your ardor scream and if you're using a hammer or a sword grab your brutal momentum as you can see we have obtained 61 talents but as you can see it says max of 74 talents 50 rollables 40 guaranteed rare attempt right this will change once we put in our mantras here are some of the mantras i think are the best for this flame build fire gun make sure you add a blast and round spark to it you can use eruption always grab your relentless grab your flame ballista if you wanted to grab your flame scourge but you will be tied on mantras and on talents as well grab your silas beam grab your flame leap grab your graceful grab your mind soothe and tranquil circle so for example if i really wanted to you can use rising flame you can replace some of these like for example fire eruption replace it for a rising flame they all do the same thing honestly mantras are up in the air right now you can use what works for you me personally this is just what i would pick especially if you're doing a hybrid support build and now that we go back to our talents it shows that a max of 61 and as we go back it shows a max of 62 talents are obtainable right and as you can see as you can clearly see we obtained 61 so that leaves you with one extra talent so that's only one talent that you can like mess around with and choose whatever me personally i would choose warrior swing reduces the incoming damage if hit during a heavy swing hyper armor for example when you crit you do reduce you take reduced damage boom very complete this is the whole build right here and as i said earlier you can do like enforcer hammer or any of the enforcer weapons except for for blade don't use blade enforcer hammer and personally you should always go vampirism and if you can get starred go ahead and go grab your three star damage and it may not seem like much but trust me you will be doing a lot more damage to these stone or stone knights and golems and for the rings of course grab your strength grab your willpower if you really wanted to and do some extra mantra damage you can grab your ring of casters or your ishant ring but you only grab ishant ring if you have viscosity enchant on your armor and that's it i'll write in the notes later thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one